got the UCS Direct on 6.0 and we also got a Hyperflex cluster 1.7.01 already added to the uh, UCS director and over here you can see the pod if we double click it you can see well we have VMware running on top of it uh, we have the uh, of course the Fabric Interconnect UCS manager two Nexus one Cisco firewall and over here it's the Hyperflex system if we double click the Hyperflex system we can see all kind of information about the storage capacity but also the, the version over here 171 uh, the UCS manager version, the capacity, the use capacity. I can even go to the disks and over here you can see well there are two disks blacklisted because we did some testing with it and in the 171 version if you remove a, a, a hard disk it's blacklisted in the new version 1.8 it ca uh, can also be whitelisted so then you can do all kind of things without being blacklisted. So. In UCS Director, with the, um, uh, you can see a lot of Hyperflex. You can see uh, also, of course, data stores. Over here you see test demo. I can just delete it because uh, the mount failure I just created it is uh, not correctly. I can see, well, if it's going to delete, what are the steps over. Uh, right now it's just one step, delete the Hyperflex data store. And within a couple of uh, seconds, it's already done. It depends on uh, how fast the refresh is, but it's in the queue to be deleted. So I can do a lot of things manually because I can also create data stores. I can uh, uh, expand uh, my cluster. But with UCS Director, you want to have automation. And automation, you can do it with orchestration. And there are all already some predefined tasks. Right now, I'm gonna just create a workflow, which is demo, uh, place it in a new folder, which X, just next. I'm not gonna do any user input or user output. Then I get the workflow designer. And here you can see all kind of UCS director tasks. Hyperflex is of course physical storage. We go to Hyperflex task and we can say well create a data store. Now I can create a task to create a data store. Uh, you can do some user input right now. I'm not going to do that. Okay, the Hyperflex account. I already created a Hyperflex account uh, in the UCS director, HX root. Uh, I'm it's just the root and the password. I'm going to select it. I'm going to give it the name, test. I'm going to give a size, 10 gigabyte, megabyte, tetabyte terabyte just click next we can do some uh, mappings uh, I'm not gonna do that right now and the task is created so this is just an easy task create a hyperflex data store I can validate it let's validate it and I can also say, well, let's execute now. We only have one version, and this is what I like about uh, the workflow. You can have different kind of versions. Okay. Here we see, well, he's going to create a Hyperflex data store. It's just one block in the workflow uh, designer. And when it's finished, you can see, well, the data store is created. So this task, and it's just an easy task, uh, we can put it in a catalog so that you can easily create your own catalog with different kind of task. Um, you can say, well, create a data store, put some uh, VMs on it, uh, do whatever. But as you can see, the Hyperflex in UCS Director are working really close.
and that's really nice to see. Let's see if the data store is created. And you can see the test demo is gone and the test is created. You see, well, it's partially uh, accessible because I didn't mount it yet. But you can also create a mount in the uh, workflow. So basically, that is it. You can download the software on cisco.com slash go slash software. Thank you for watching.